for the latest film interviews, reviews and everything making news in pop culture, subscribe to Film Companion now. <laughs> I've been around for 20 years. I've never had a joint narration with another hero and I've done the maximum ensemble films. 90s mein hota tha Abhishek I promise you you don't remember that big story about dar and and how there had to be a joint narration between I think it was Sunny and and Shahrukh and then No Sunny. I used to be in Adi's house every day in the 90s I never saw any joint narration <laughs> I'm most upset about this This is very unfair Dada I want joint narration with all 10 actors <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should do that as an exercise for film companion Welcome team Ludo uh very very happy to have all of you here and what I was nervous about talking to so many people at the same time how in the world did you direct a film with this massive star cast did you ever think ki yaar char stories ke bajaye do hi likhi hoti to behtar hota are more the merrier na or uh, i actually uh, i enjoyed the most when they had this combination date everybody was on the set it was mad house and I wish we had more combination dates and more uh, in the film. No, I had great time. Really? Absolutely. So tell me, you know, back in the day, uh, we used to hear that when uh, there were two heroes in a film, uh, they would ask for a joint narration because uh, uh, you know each one had to have absolute clarity. Ki dusre wale ke pas kitni footage hai and how much footage do I have? So obviously, all of you are not. doing this film for the footage right it's an ensemble cast you're not doing it because you know mere paas itne scenes hain so how did you all decide to get on this roller coaster ride with anurag firstly i'm i don't know if i should be offended at this question because i've been around for 20 years i've never had a joint narration with another hero and i've done the maximum ensemble films 90s mein hota tha abhishek i promise you you don't remember that big story about dar and and how they had to be a joint narration between i think it was sunny and and sharukh and then no sunny. i used to be in adi's house every day in the 90s i never saw any joint narration <laughs> i'm most upset about this <laughs> this is very unfair dada i want joint narration with all 10 actors <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should do that as an exercise for film companion this is what a film narration it. looks like yeah. i would <laughs> love it a script yeah. reading of ludo I'll I'll tell oh, yeah. you I actually had I actually had a very detailed narration with uh, with Dada. Mm. Um, he came to the uh, to to my office. He sat down. Uh, we just shot the breeze for a while. He said, uh, "Picture kar raha hu." I said, "Achhi baat hai." Uh, October mein shuru karte hain. I said, "Okay." He said, "Okay, bye." And that was it. <laughs> that that was genuinely that was that was that was, that was that was the first meeting, and that was how we decided to do the film. And then I used to go to the office. under the garb that oh i'll come hear the story oh i'll come do a costume uh, you know what do you call it um, test then this test that test but actually i was going there because i know he used to cook food for his for the office i used to go to eat and he gets really good mishti doi and he makes great mutton curry and i used to go for that and in that garb i got to know that there's this one track of this one guy who's just come out of jail and and he's trying to deal with um, the emotional baggage of his past and he meets this girl and how he forges a relationship that was all i knew i've actually when i saw the film uh, you know the final product a couple of days ago i showed it to my dad i actually got to know that my character's name is battu keshwar tiwari <laughs> cuz i'm this i was referred to as bittu so i said okay my name is bittu i never even knew my character was called battu keshwar tiwari It's something Bhatti Keshu could something Tiwari, no, Dada? Kya? Bhatti Keshu Tiwari or Bittu? Ha, ah. ah, Bhatti Keshu Tiwari or Bittu? I didn't know. <laughs> so Anurag, just in case you thought it was your great writing, no, it's your mutton curry and and uh, the other food that you're bustling up in your office. What about the rest of you? Um, We weren't even discussing writing. What great writing? We were only working with him for the food. <laughs> <laughs> Ask any of them. Yeah, I haven't gotten my hands of on any of Dada's button curries yet. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, even my meeting with Dada was only a little longer than AB's. I think it was. Hey, Mahesh <laughs> Lanchom. I huh? forgot my Mahesh Lanchom. Mahesh Lanchom, not yours. Ah, correct, correct, correct. Not yours. Ah. Sir, मुझे सर मुझे सर मुझे कोई food नहीं मिला अनुराग दादा ने जो मुझे बनाया. Yeah. Even I didn't oh. get food. तो देखो क्लियरली सम इनजस्टिस बिंग डन या पंकज आपको मिला कि नहीं 
हाँ हाँ मुझे मिला है हम मेरे लिए तो हमारे पार्ट में मतलब लंच और ब्रेकफास्ट के बीच में जो समय बच जाता था शूटिंग होती थी तो मेन पर्पस हमारे शेड्यूल पे खाना होता था कि खाने से जो समय बचेगा उसमें शूट कर लेंगे लेडीज ना वी नेवर गॉट एनीथिंग नो लंच नो डिनर नो स्नैक्स Yeah. So, the food was great on set, though. But uh, I remember all of us going after pack up to this Irani chai place. He took us uh, there. What? Where was I? I was in your story. <laughs> <laughs> so that was this midnight thing which we had. Dada took us. Nice. So listen, I might be creating more stress here than I intended to. <laughs> Anurag, tell me, though this film. Sort of defies description. I would kind of label. If I had to put a label, I would say it's a it's a sort of absurdist tragic comedy. Um, the the plot and the action is obviously not meant to be taken in a realistic way. It's not it's not realism that you're trying to do there. But the emotions are authentic. You want us to care for these characters. So, what is the struggle of balancing that? before you answer that question dada i just have a request to the netflix team can we always do anu's interview first cuz now we get to say it's an absurdist tragic comedy mujhe kuch samajh mein nahi aaya what is absurdist tragic comedy but it sounds really intellectual dada dada ha bol do i just speak like yes yes that was my intention and all that like wait hai na descriptive mein wait yeah wow absurdist tragic comedy <laughs> uh no anubhav whatever world is maybe the world is world and uh, world is whimsical mad but you know emotions has to be always real whatever i think that's where your stories work and it's not it's not a uh, difficult to find that balance between uh, going for really outlandish situations and there are plenty in this film uh, but making those feelings feel true uh <laughs> no it just organically happened honestly speaking there was no extra effort to do that it just because uh, the film made the film actually you know the story made the own story it's just what kind of characters because when you uh, when you have attempting started writing this kind of characters and story i think they drive the story forward and we just go with the flow that's it there was no extra effort to trying to you know uh, i don't know it just it was organic that's how it it happened it just actually i don't remember because you know it was written very quickly the whole structure the film and all the stories we wrote some 11 stories then i selected this four and it was just organic and free flow and that's how your I mind think, functions basically i don't know because if 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 this uh, yeah if you throw cynicism out of the window and be more optimistic and writing stories i think uh, it becomes more pure i think Yes, Anu, you have put severe stress on Dada right now to use big English words. By the way, huh? he's trying whatever he knows. He's he's using a, a digital thesaurus on the side to say, "Is ka aur bada word kaise nikal sakta?" <laughs> so this tragic comedy has blown him away. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of absurdist, one one of my favorite scenes in the film is when the dead naked body falls through that roof. <laughs> uh it is it it just it was so funny and and rohit your expression is just priceless how did you figure out what to look like when this naked man is hanging above your head dead well he didn't look at much anu it was a very cold night so if you know what i'm talking about you can listen to look at <laughs> uh dada actually told me i've been handheld through the entire film um because i just uh, why are you looking like that yeah because this conversation just sounds really wrong right now keeping the conversation yeah. and it was handheld what are you guys between between rohit and pearly they have just made this film from a absurdist tragic comedy into something else stop it you two uh <laughs> No, I mean, are you? How did I? This is very embarrassing, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I think I, I was uh, Dada really um, 
handheld me uh, in those times. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he told me every th- i mean every shot um he had to kind of explain because uh i was i think i was equally nervous through the entire film because i just i just wasn't sure if i was good enough to be in dada's film um and like i i, I just didn't know if i was doing the right thing or not uh so i would constantly look for reassurance and i would constantly like the moment he would say cut i would just look at him and if he looked like he was okay or if he was if he walked away then i knew that it was a good shot uh and he was okay with it um so i think that's what happened even with that uh dead body scene you're right actually it was cold and it was in the middle of the night so that um, image never <laughs> gave you i think you all like impressed you forever <laughs> Yeah so uh, it was very cold and it was in the middle of the night and uh, he just told me that there is a dead body that's going to fall and uh, it's going to fall twice so you have to give me that reaction and we tried a couple of takes uh, i think the first take came out to be pretty good and it came out to be pretty funny uh, i really enjoyed doing it too because after it got done i saw it and everyone laughed so i was very very happy about it but i don't necessarily know what he gave me as a direction you know as to how to react like i just naked man about the fact that there was a dead body falling in that to naked uh so yeah it was fun inat aapko kya directions diye because you know sometimes um, hindi filmo jo mein jo bacche hote hain wo thode se extra cute ban jate hain ya extra filmy ban jate hain ab uh, aapko kya direction mila to not be like that नहीं अनुराग दादा मुझे कभी नहीं कहते थे कि कम करना है कभी नहीं कहते थे कि ज्यादा ओवर करना है कभी नहीं कहते थे ज्यादा कम करना है अनुराग दादा हमेशा ये कहते थे नेचुरल रखना है जैसे आप हो वैसे नेचुरल रखना है तो बस अनुराग दादा यही कहते थे और फिर जो भी ऑन द स्पॉट मुझे स्क्रिप्ट दे देते थे और बोलते थे नेचुरल रखना है और वो मैं बोल देती थी लाइक like और अगर उनको वो अगर पसंद ना आए तो मैं उनको वेज बता देती थी ऐसे वे में बोलूं ऐसे वे में बोलूं ऐसे वे में बोलूं तो फिर दादा उसमें से जो भी सिलेक्ट कर देते थे तो मैं उसमें बोल देती थी आप लोग सीख रहे हैं या बिल्कुल अमेजिंग पंकज थैंक यू यू नो आई आई ऑलवेज थिंक कि यू प्लेड अ डॉन सो ऑफन यू नो गुड़गांव से लेकर मिर्जापुर तक आपने इतने डॉन प्ले किए हैं एंड येट यू फाइंड अ वे टू मेक इट न्यू यू नो सत्तु भैया में कुछ अलग चीज है देर इज समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग गोइंग ऑन विद हिम ही इज वेरी चार्मिंग वेन ही वॉन्ट्स टू बी तो ये हाउ डू यू डू दिस एक पुरानी चीज को नया बनाना ये जब कास्टिंग हो रही थी दादा मिले तो बोले कि यार कोई नया नहीं है तुम्हारे लिए तुमने बहुत किया है बट इसको नया बनाएंगे तो वो नया बनाएंगे में ही आ, मैं बोला कि हाँ हाँ बिल्कुल डन करते हैं तो मेरे लिस्ट में थे कि मैं इनके मुझे इनके साथ काम करना है बड़ी चाहत थी सो दादा ने नया बनाया है मैंने कुछ खास किया नहीं है और मुझे वो तरीका बहुत पसंद है जो दादा का है कि पूरा मैप होते हुए भी एक्टर को सिर्फ सौ मीटर देते हैं कि यहाँ से वहां तक जाना है बस उनके पास मैप होता है इंटायर जर्नी का सो बड़ा मजा आया और पहले तो उसको अलग करने में कॉस्ट्यूम जा मैं भी चाहता था कि कोई मुझे एक काले रंग का लेदर जैकेट पहना दे कभी तो और सफेद जूता दे दे तो मुझे काला जूता सफेद टोपी पहनने का मन था दादा ने पहना दिया <laughs> बाकी एज इट इज हो जा होता गया जैसा वो बोलते थे मैं करके आ जाता था मुझे एक सीन याद है कि हॉस्पिटल के अंदर दो दिन एक दिन शूट होने के बाद में पूछा कि एक को एक्टर मेरा एक जानने वाला लड़का था बोला ये कौन है ये क्या कर रहा है तो मुझे दादा ने बताया कि वो कौन है मैंने कोई क्राइम किया उसके बदले वो आया है मुझे मालूम ही नहीं दो दिन से शूट चल रहा है नो no, बट ये जो है दिस दिस थिंग कि हाफ द स्क्रिप्ट इज इन हिज हेड व्हिच व्हिच वी हैव ऑल हर्ड अबाउट अनुराग सो मच राइट कि कि ही ही इज अ ग्रेट इंप्रोवाइजर ही कम्स ऑन सेट एंड क्रिएट सो मच व्हेन यू आर वर्किंग विद सो मेनी ट्रैक्स एंड सो मेनी कैरेक्टर्स डस दैट नॉट बिकम कंफ्यूजिंग Aditya Sanya Pali did did you ever feel ki mujhe pata hi nahi like he's saying ki that character what what is that guy doing I think the person that could only be confusing for would be for dada I, for us yeah. uh we didn't have to concern ourselves with any other story other than It's our own. own yeah for which we had a fairly clear blueprint about the start middle and end in what order we were shooting it of course uh was was different 
um, but I, I think if there would ever be that um, burden of having to grapple with those stories, it would only lay with the with the director. Did you ever have a moment of confusion, the two of you? Okay, like, what is my character's motivation for this? <laughs> we jammed on it. We jammed on being clueless all the time. <laughs> yeah. Really? Were you clueless? Yeah, like, um, I think, yes, for the most, most of the film I was, I didn't understand what was happening now, but Dada used to clear it. And sometimes he used to not. He used to, he used to tell me, just don't think. Camera ke samne Soch mat camera ke samne and it was refreshing because I think a lot and I tend to overthink about the characters that I'm playing. But it was a refreshing change for the first time. I was quite relaxed, also clueless. Ki kya karna hai, kya nahi ho hai, kya ho hai, theek ho hai, nahi ho hai, ye sab. So you're only in the moment. You're not concerned with the larger picture. Yeah, I honestly didn't have any idea how the how our story is going to pan out or how the film is going to pan out. पंकज जी ने एक इंटरव्यू में अभी बोला कि पहली बार ऐसा लगा कि ऑडियंस की तरह अपनी फिल्म देख रहे हैं क्योंकि सच में नहीं पता कि क्या होने वाला है क्योंकि समटाइम्स इट्स नॉट इट्स इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट नॉट टू नो एवरी थिंग इट वॉज अ गुड रिफ्रेशिंग चेंज की कुछ स्ट्रेस नहीं है बस आप सेट पर आओ स्ट्रेस देना तो अनुराग दादा को दे देती थी मैं ठीक हो रहा है So Correct. in this case, that wasn't the case. Dada knew exactly what he was doing, and you get that sense when you're on a set with him, where he knows exactly what he wants uh, from that character. So there, there is clarity. It's just uh, mm. with us sometimes. <laughs> tell me, tell me about the staging of the climax when all of you are in in that space. Uh, um, and it has another one of my favorite moments when aditya your character the, the the goon who's carrying the safe asks you to help him and you're like showing him your injured hand and you're like but yaar <laughs> and he's like no you have to do it anyway i mean i i just love those little moments that that just happen as a sides um, i don't know why did you decide to stage this massive kind of blow out to song and what was it like for all of you to to be doing it अनुपमा दीदी हाँ जी मुझे आपका क्वेश्चन समझ नहीं आया तू थी नहीं वहां पे बेटा तू सीन में नहीं थी हाँ ये क्लाइमैक्स का ये क्लाइमैक्स के बारे में जब ये सब लोग एक दूसरे पे गोलियां चला रहे हैं मार रहे हैं कोई गिर रहे हैं नर्स कैरेक्टर ऊपर चढ़ रही हैं यू नो what was it like to do all of that there was a sense when we were on the set of the climax where that's one time where you felt like there's a culmination mm. of a lot of the stories and you don't know where all these characters have come from so you're like what <laughs> what, what is this guy going through what is this guy so you feel like polly just jumps out of nowhere and like ab <laughs> drives in so it, it was we were kind of reacting <laughs> in some senses in real time i like, still remember i was on the table and uh, dada said point at pankaj and i'm looking at pankaj dada and he's like point at the cops and i don't even know why i'm pointing at pointing, pointing at them and then i'm just doing whatever he's telling us and it was complete chaos and kind of reflected on our faces i think and uh, <laughs> it feels right because that, that's the intention right none of these they, they, these parts have converged and they're not supposed to know what everyone else is <laughs> <laughs> शूटिंग was decided during the post production and we tried to give one background music then i realized the song was of was doing this justice to the scene i just so when when you're shooting oh. like you're saying he, he's telling you poli to uh, you know shoot at pankaj or shoot at the cop are you giving instructions mid shot like they're working and you're shouting instructions a no, lot of the time he does the mic he has a mic yeah 
we can so he's him. shooting the film he's behind the camera and he's got somebody holding a mic for him and if you feel <laughs> something instinctively he just barks those orders out, <laughs> out at you but but to be very fair i i a lot of the actors didn't know that there were other actors in the climax as well like for when i yeah. shot uh, the climax um adi and sanya weren't there mm-hmm. and that was the first time i met rohit and and perli and i thought they'd come to see the shoot Right, they both came to say hello, hello. So I said, oh, okay, hi. You want a photo? Come and take a photo. I didn't even know that they, that they were shooting in the film. I was just Pankaj, so I was like, okay, we're shooting each other up, and that's it, you know. Um, but a lot of the time, um, but that's exciting, you know. Like, like, like Adi said, I think he's achieved. It's all done by his chaos is by design, right? You know, um, and he gets, I think, his version of. the expression that he wants as opposed to your manufactured version Correct. if you ask me if i was perly he said stand on a table and i'll look panicked and shoot here shoot here i'll do a preprogrammed um, version of that if he's just barking that at you in the middle of the shot it's going to be very genuine because there's absolute fear in the actor saying what is going on am i going to get thrown out of this film why is he shouting <laughs> at me where is pankaj who is pankaj what is this guy doing here you know all this it's it's all very it's very genuine so i think that yeah. is, his chaos is by design right and uh, to be i mean i thought there'd be that one time where everybody would get to work together i don't think uh, i i shot for half a day with adi in one passing shot um i had a a, a beautiful scene with raj but that never made it to the final cut i had two, two or three days work with pankaj at best uh rohit and perli i mean literally they stayed on after they shoot to hang and chat with us so that's how i got to hang with them so we never really um i never shot with fatima at all so i we never had that one scene where everybody was together even that he shot separately right and the one thing that everybody asks me which was one of the first questions i asked him when i came on to set for the first time is he where did you shoot this film where is it set right and it's it sounds so de glamorous to say chandiwali studios Ninety <laughs> percent of the film is Chandi Willi Studios, and you know when I came to Chandi, we started on the nineteenth of October two thousand eighteen. Just rubbing that date into you, Dada, so you know it's been over two years. Um, I said, Dada, why are we shooting Chandi Willi? He said, Barfi also I shot in Chandi Willi. I said, No, no, Barfi, you shot in Darjeeling. He said, No, that two days ago, it didn't look good. I went back and cheated a little bit. And then I realized, and then I went and revisited some the. maximum films that he's made most of them are shot in chandiwali studios and mandir <laughs> and you don't and you just and you're like really so just goes to show that this man's vision is so apart from this brilliant but is so detailed that he knows exactly what he's doing it's so you know at that point you can say okay let me just live back in and write because he knows what he's doing yeah 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 let's not tell too many people about chandiwali it'll just take away some of the magic <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just right, feel right, we should. Right. So the next time we do something together, Dada, let's give it a more glamorous name. Ha ha. So more bold then. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, since I'm never going to have so many actors in the same place uh, uh, again, I- I'm going to ask each one of you to give me one piece of the best practical advice you've got about acting. And Inad, आप से शुरू करते हैं. सबसे अच्छी acting के बारे में advice आपको क्या मिली? मतलब किससे advice मुझे? हाँ, किसकी और वो एडवाइस क्या थी किसकी औकात की करेंगे तो एडवाइस करेगी हम सबको नहीं मुझे किसी ने ऐसे एडवाइस नहीं किया अनुराग दादा ने मुझे बस यही चीज सिखाई एक्टिंग के बारे में कि नेचुरल रहना है ओके हेलो दीदी हाँ जी हाँ तो बस यही थी नहीं एंड मुझे जो मैं मुझे खुद एक्टिंग के बारे में सबसे अच्छी चीज लगती है वो मैं आपको बताती हूँ कि जैसे डांस um, शोज भी होते हैं सिंगर्स भी होते हैं मतलब पर जो एक्टिंग होती है जैसे डांस में लोग डांस करते हैं है ना सिंगिंग में लोग सिंगिंग करते हैं ओके पर जो एक्टिंग होती है उसमें डांस भी होता है सिंगिंग भी होता है उसमें सब होता है इसलिए मेरे को एक्टिंग बहुत ज्यादा अच्छी लगती है और एडवाइस मेरे को बस यही मिलती है Dada said, like when you're working in a film, uh, I used to overact a little because I'm an anchor. I I've been a television host for ten years now, so I'm used to expressing myself because I know the audience are gonna watch me on television, and I have exaggerated expression and my body language is very, like, all out. So I had to minimize all that. And Dada said you have to keep it 
very subtle and because otherwise on the big screen it's going to be too much yeah. and sometimes you don't even have to do anything just feel it and it will come on your face and it will reflect on your eyes and that that's something that i kept in my mind as a mantra throughout this film and it i i, I feel like it's really helped me and uh, it's something that i never no one's ever told me this and that was the first person to tell me this and it really helped me as an actor क्लास में थ्रू मिनिमम क्रिएट मैक्सिमम की एक्टर को जेस्टर ऑफ इकोनॉमी भी पता होना चाहिए कि जेस्टर की भी इकोनॉमी होती है इतना क्यों खर्च करना दिमाग में बैठ गई थी nice sanya i think for me dada uh, has this whole process of shooting dulu taught me that it's not always important to prepare yourself before a film and it totally depends on the character that you're playing so it's really very important to sometimes just let yourself be aur jaise pankaj ji ne bola ki kaan se bano taan se That's lovely. Learn your lines. <laughs> <laughs> Basic. <laughs> Learn your lines and listen, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, for you. There were two things. Uh, one that that he used to always tell us. Actually, so the direction for Polly and I, it was. pretty similar because we were all uh, kind of the two of us we were shooting together most of the times <clears throat> but the for one thing that um i uh, learned on dada set which i've kind of taken back with me is the five w's uh, which is <laughs> what where when uh, who and why wow uh, these five things uh, which we kind of always used to think about before getting into a scene um one thing you used to always say is that don't always have to move your facial muscles to to your know, react to to show an emotion like there was a scene where uh, i had to come and i and i look at polly she's doing something which upsets me and i was trying to be set in front of the camera but he said i don't want to try just come and stand in front of the camera and i'll see it, if it genuinely upsets you and i did that and he okayed that shot and when i saw it on the film i knew what he meant uh that was one there was one thing which i think it is uh my most cherished treasured moment which i spoke about even during the trailer launch uh which is i was uh, dada's not dada's not one who would give you a lot of feedback on set because he knows that you know you're there for a, for a reason you're there because you you're good enough uh but i am someone who uh, i i feel motivated when i'm told that i'm doing a good job um so i i used to keep asking him for a feedback uh and i used to keep asking him what is it that i can do better um he did an exercise with me very randomly very out of the blue on set uh, when i was sitting next to him uh, on the monitor and the shot was getting uh, ready uh we sat together and i was asking him what is it that i can do better he took my id card that i was wearing as rahul and uh, he took a pen and he wrote something and he said find the letter m and uh, you have 60 seconds and i tried to look for it and i was frantically looking for it because the time was running and I turned to him and I said I couldn't find it. <clears throat> he said, "Okay, give it to me." And he wrote that again. And he said, "Now look for it." I again looked for it, but I again couldn't find it. And he just got up and walked off. And I <laughs> ran behind him and I said, "Dada, but where is it? I couldn't find it." He said, "I never wrote it, but you believe that it was there. So you you did it with authenticity. You believed in it. That that's why you were honest when you were looking for it. And that is the kind of honesty I want to see on the screen." and that blew my mind i think uh that is something that i've always thought of whenever i've been nervous on set after that um so so yeah these are two things that i uh, took back with me and i fully fully cherish it <clears throat> last word to you mr b um kai <laughs> mr b is <I> dead <laughs> um well i I've actually answered this uh, to you once before. The best advice I got acting was from my wife. She said, "Before the take, check your nose, check your teeth, make sure nothing's stuck in them." <laughs> um, you know that I think is 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 very important. 
Um, another advice, uh, which is great on more technical aspect, my father gave me is don't forget to process. Um, you know, a lot of the time, like like Pankaji was saying, we're so busy just ratting off that we forget to be. Uh, when somebody is saying something to us, you have to learn to listen and process it also. Because once we hear the dialogue, then we're so busy saying, okay, I'll be dialogue, I'll be now. You don't listen, then think about what you're going to say and then say it. So don't forget to process. Mm. And uh, as far, so these are the two things which I feel very important for an actor. Um, from, from, from the other point of view, I'm feeling uh, a bit uh, left out in the cold because he never really gave me any such advice no, like that. Is he eating? No, he, I, the only thing she said to me, sir, I'm short kill you. I'm not short kill you. I'm not short kill you. I'm not sir, because I was also playing video games. That was the only thing he just said to me. <laughs> I'm feeling very bad. Everybody's got such great stories. Why didn't you ever write an M or something for me, yeah, Dada? What? You got food. <laughs> you don't need an advice. And seriously, no, no, he's, he's, he's fishing just, for compliment. Like, like you know, like 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 they've all said. You know, he's um, one of the few directors who, after the short is he just walks off. Mm. Yeah. So that, for an actor, that's saying that you've done well when he walks off. Yeah, you realize that afterwards, but at that point in time, Anu, if you're a relative newcomer, like say in indie films like Rohit and, and Pearly and Inayat, you're like, oh my God, you know, what did I do wrong? Right. For the more uh, seasoned of a slot, it's an ego thing saying, wait, I didn't do a good what? He didn't even say anything to me. I mean, I know it's a cut and all, but why is he not, you know, <laughs> so it, it, either which way you're left in the lurch. And I think that also is by design because then the next shot, you give it that, that much more. Correct. <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I want validation when he says cut. Okay, <laughs> but I never got that. And I'm feeling I'm fe I'm actually not enjoying these these group interviews because I'm realizing he doesn't love me at all, <laughs> and he completely <laughs> pampered the rest of these guys. And uh, you know, if I were to if I were to tell you what the journey was like from Ludo <clears throat> initially the, when that happened when Dada walked away without saying anything, Pauli and I would look at each other. And by the I end, we if we walked away, we would look at each other and be like, yeah! <laughs> 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 Guys, I've just been told to wrap, so thank you so much. And, thank you. And thank you, thank you. Such fun to talk to all of you and have a wonderful Diwali. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye